Hi, it's Dr. Sam Robbins, and today's topic is from a viewer question, and they ask, Dr. Sam, there's so many types and forms of fish oil supplements. What do you take? What do you think is the best? I'm really confused. So today's topic is about which fish oil supplements is the best. And this is a great question because there's just so much information out there that it can really be confusing. So let me simplify it for you just as I need to do for myself. Typically, fish oil supplements will be derived from fish, such as salmon, anchovies, sardines, and mackerel. These are the fatty fish. These will contain the important EPA and DHA omega-3 fats. So make sure you read the labels and only focus on the total dosages and the concentrations of these important omega-3 fatty acids, again, being the EPA and DHA. Thus, you really need to read labels. So for example, in this uh, picture, you'll see that two pills have 2,800 milligrams of fish oil. But if you look closer, it's only 2,000 milligrams of that important EPA and DHA. So in reality, one pill has 1,000 milligrams of omega-3s consisting of only EPA and DHA. Now, here's another example. Again, two pills contains 2.5 grams or 2,500 milligrams of fish oil, but only 1,600 milligrams of is omega-3s from the EPA and DHA. So one pill is 800 milligrams of omega-3s. Now, there's another type of marine animal you can get omega-3 fats, and that's from krill oil. You can also get that EPA and DHA from krill oil, which is a small shrimp-like animals, right? Again, called krill. Now, krill oil has a distinctive red color, while regular fish oils are typically yellow or gold. And krill oil is usually more expensive than fish oil, even though the concentrations are higher. Now, krill oil has also been advertised to be better absorbed than regular fish oil, and thus a lower dose would be needed. However, clinical studies have not really confirmed this to be true. Now, here's one other option you have if you happen to not like fish oil for any reason or you happen to be vegan. There's another great source of a plant-based omega-3 fats that contain both EPA and DHA, and that's algae oil. Algae itself contains over 40,000 species that range from just single-celled microscopic organisms known as microalgae all the way to regular stuff that we've heard about, such as kelp and seaweed. All types rely energy from the sunlight and ultraviolet and carbon dioxide. Again, make sure you read the labels so you see the proper levels and concentrations of EPA and DHA contained in the supplement. Personally, I just take regular fish oil pills. I make sure they're refrigerated. I take them with meals only and preferably at the beginning of the meal, so better digestion. And as far as dose, you know, this depends on many factors in your body type and genetics, but I typically suggest at least one to two grams or 1,000 or 2,000 milligrams to as high as five to six grams daily spread out with your meals. I hope this was helpful. If it was, please give it a thumbs up and share it with other people. Please subscribe if you haven't already and click that notification icon. And as always, thanks for taking the time to watch and listen. And I wish you a very happy and healthy day.